Hello, I'm Father Joe Roche of the Marian Fathers of the Immaculate Conception. Thank you for joining us as we continue with our year-long journey reading the diary of St. Maria Faustina Kowalska from beginning to end. Today we take up from where we left off, beginning with diary entry number 1629. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, I am a host in your hand, O Jesus, my Creator and Lord, silent, hidden, without beauty or charm, because all the beauty of my soul is imprinted within me. I am a host in your hand, O divine priest. Do with me as you please. I am totally dependent on your will, O Lord, because it is the delight and adornment of my soul. I am like a white host in your hand, O God. I implore you, transform me into yourself. May I be wholly hidden in you, locked in your merciful heart as in heaven. I am like a host in your hand, O eternal priest. May the wafer of my body hide me from human eye. May your eye alone measure my love and devotion, because my heart is always united with your divine heart. I am like a sacrificial host in your hand, O divine mediator, and I burn on the altar of holocaust, crushed and ground by suffering like grains of wheat, and all this for the sake of your glory, for the salvation of souls. I am a host abiding in the tabernacle of your heart. I go through life drowned in your love, and I fear nothing in the world. For you yourself are my shield, my strength, and my defense. I am a host laid on the altar of your heart to burn forever with the fire of love. For I know that you have lifted me up solely because of your mercy. And so I turn all these gifts and graces to your glory. I am a host in your hand. O Judge and Savior, in the last hour of my life, may the omnipotence of your grace lead me to my goal. May your compassion on the vessel of mercy become famous. Jesus, fortify the powers of my soul that the enemy gain nothing. Without you, I am weakness itself. What am I without your grace, if not an abyss of my own misery? Misery is my possession. O wound of mercy, heart of Jesus, hide me in your depths as a drop of your own blood, and do not let me out forever. Lock me in your depths, and do you yourself teach me to love you. Eternal love, do you yourself form my soul, that it be made capable of returning your love. O living love, enable me to love you forever. I yearn to eternally reciprocate your love. O Christ, a single gaze from you is dearer to me than a thousand worlds, than all heaven itself. Lord, you can make my soul capable of understanding completely who you are. I know and I believe that you can do all things. If you have deigned to give yourself to me so generously, then I know that you can be even more generous. Bring me into an intimacy with you so far as it is possible for human nature to be brought. Here, St. Faustina writes some beautiful verses about becoming a host in Jesus' hand. She wants to sacrifice herself completely to become a holocaust, an oblation, a sweet-smelling offering to God like incense. She longs to be hidden away like Jesus in the tabernacle. The one thing that matters to her 
is to be united to Jesus' heart as she would be for all eternity. She wants to be transformed into Jesus, to be like him. Her vocation as a victim soul is very much like Jesus crucified. She would die at the age of 33, like Jesus, and she offered her sufferings for the conversion of others. Faustina asks Jesus to strengthen her so that she would not fall into any of the evil one's traps. She recognizes her weakness. She needs Christ's strength. Jesus had told her to hide herself in his heart and that he would teach her how to suffer. She writes here a beautiful prayer about his heart. Learning to suffer is really about learning how to love without limits, like Jesus. Faustina writes of Jesus' gaze, which is indescribable. She wants to return his gaze of love forever. Thank you.